and was. That's what I wanted to say about Syria. And I'll just quickly make one point about Occupy Wall Street, um, which is this. Um, when I was, you know, Occupy Wall Street was a lesson for me in, in, you know, Marxism is not just, you know, a view. It's not something we advocate, but it's also something we do. You know, we're trying to actively fight for and build a socialist society and actually carry out a revolution. And for me, Occupy Wall Street was a lesson in the, the united front and the tactical questions that, that go with Marxism. And one thing that I found to be very inspiring was an essay written by Mao Zedong called Report on the Hunan Province. It was published in 1927. And what Mao Mao Zedong was talking about was in, in China at that time, you know, the, there was this mass uprising of the peasantry in China. The peasants were rising up and they were killing the landlords and they were seizing the land and it was this uprising going on. And in the Chinese Communist Party, there were, there were really two wings of the Chinese Communist Party. One wing who said, oh, that's the peasantry. They're uneducated, they're illiterate, and they're not workers. We're Marxists, see? And the book here says, it says we're for the proletariat against the bourgeoisie, not, not the peasantry, the proletariat. And they repudiated that. There's another section of the Chinese Communist Party that said, these are peasants, they're illiterate. The only hope we have is to kind of bury ourselves in the nationalist movement and kind of bury ourselves in the nationalist party. That's the only hope we have. But there was a brilliant, brilliant communist named Mao Zedong who said, this is China, this is a unique situation. And there's one group of people that's actually going out and fighting the bourgeoisie. And you know who it is? It's the peasants. And if we're going to make a revolution, we have to go to where the action is. And these peasants are the hope that the, that the Chinese working class has for taking power. We need an alliance with the peasantry. We need to go to the peasant movement. They're where the hope is. And Mao Zedong wrote this essay in 1927 urging, urging the party to get past their dogmatism and get past their fru frustration and go to where the action was, which was with the peasantry. And you know what? Mao Zedong was right because the Chinese revolution was largely made by the peasantry. It was the peasants who went out and fought and died in huge numbers for the Chinese Revolution. And that made me think about Occupy Wall Street because so much of the left, their response was to look at Occupy Wall Street and say, oh, these are quote unquote petty bourgeois, these are middle class people, they said this, they said this, they said that. But the response that our party had as a true Marxist-Leninist organization was to say, this is where the action is. It's not perfect, but if we're, gonna, if we're seriously thinking about revolution, we've got to go where the action is and we've got to look at how we can make a revolution. So, you know, that's all I wanted to say about that. So thank you.